It is the number one question I get these days. What do you think of crypto? And my answer is not very much. I mean, let's face it. It's not backed by anything. In reality, you can't really touch it or feel it in your hands. And yet there are a lot of people who are interested and who can blame them for what we're seeing out there. But the certified financial planners I know all say the same thing. Bitcoin's so-called value staggers. Had you purchased $100 worth in 2011, it would now be worth just under $7 million today. Still, Julie Quick of Cultivate Financial Wellness says, I think of the, the Warren Buffett quote, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Planning Alternatives CEO Nathan Mercero says Bitcoin and the others that have cropped up since fly in the face of his money preaching. It's something that needs to be treated with caution and make sure that you are educated before you uh, take a step into cryptocurrency and really only invest the money that you're willing to lose. Here's a warning from financial planner Rick Kaler. So uh, just because these are popular doesn't mean that they're safe and doesn't mean that they belong in a person's retirement portfolio. Kaler points to three ways to grow your money, saving, investing, speculation. And crypto is speculation, or better put, gambling. And what's more, it's unstable, far more volatile than the American dollar. So you, you've got, at, at the best, you've got Bitcoin being six times more vol volatile, up to 66 times more volatile. That is not something people are buying to do transactions with. And the more that people participate into cryptocurrency, it frankly drives the price up. So people need to be very careful about uh, participating in cryptocurrency. Don't plan your future on it at all. I think you need to be really wary until there's additional information. And Rick Kaler says some people who dabbled and lost threatened their financial future. Folks save. They say, I'm going to invest. They jump to speculating, thinking they're investing. Ultimately, they get burned. They go back to saving and say, I'll never invest again. Well, if you want to play the crypto game, we're not saying don't do it, but just go in knowing exactly what you're getting into. Take a certain amount of money. Think of it as sort of like going to the casino. Do not look to use crypto to help fund things like your kid's education or your retirement. Rod Maloney, Local 4.